Hey there, welcome back to another Fast Key Fridays. In this week's episode, I've just got one keyboard shortcut for you, but trust me, it's a good one if you wanna learn how to audio duck in Final Cut Pro 10. Hey there, welcome to this week's episode of Fast Key Fridays. I'm Mark Brown with Editor's Keys. Now, if you're a regular Final Cut Pro 10 user, make sure you check out the entire playlist from the start. I'll also put the link in the description below. Now, each week I give you a load of keyboard shortcuts to help you edit faster. And this week I've got just one that's really gonna help you out if you need to learn how to audio duck in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get straight into the tutorial and I'll show you that shortcut. Okay, so this is quite a common issue. Maybe you've recorded an interview and you have some dialogue, or just like this clip here, you've got me talking to camera and I want some nice background music, but I want my dialogue to be heard when I'm talking and I want the background music to come up as we go over the sections of B-roll here. So let's listen to it at the moment. And this is how it sounds right now. So as you can clearly hear, it's not a great audio mix. You know, you can't hear me at all. The background music is very loud and we're gonna sort this out with one shortcut. Uh, and before we do that, if you do want any music, all of our music comes from Epidemic Sound. I'll put a link in the description just in case you want any royalty free music. Um, so basically the first and only tool we're gonna use for this is the range tool, which you access by pressing the R key. So I'm gonna press that now and you can see our tool has changed to the range tool. And all you need to do is go down to your audio track, select the range where I'm speaking, and we're gonna pull down the audio to say minus 17, and then we're gonna get the range tool up for this section here, and then we're gonna pull this across here, and then again, we're gonna bring it down to minus 17 again, and then let's do this final little section here. Pull it down to around minus 17 again, and now if we play through it, you'll see it's already added keyframes. It's looking good, but let's have a listen through, through the timeline now and see how it sounds. Speed up your editing. Each week, I'm gonna give you the best shortcuts in under three minutes. So in this first video, I'm gonna show you how. So how easy was that? You can use this range tool to effectively improve your audio like never before and duck your audio with absolute precision. And if you wanna come in here and alter the fades, you can do that. So let's just say we want to make the fade a bit longer. We can just drag out these keyframes that the uh, tool has added. And as you can hear, it will make the fade a lot slower. In under three minutes. So there we go. That's the range tool. And that's effectively how you duck audio in Final Cut Pro 10. So there we go, R was this week's Fast Key Friday. It was just one shortcut, but it's super useful if you need to audio duck in Final Cut Pro 10. Now let me know, did you know about that shortcut already or are you gonna use it for the first time? Let me know in the comment section below and I promise I do get back to every single comment. Now if you wanna see next week's episode, and you really should because we've got loads of exciting new shortcuts in there, make sure you hit that subscribe, that like, and that notification bell, and I'll see you next Friday.